Dear colleagues, please uh, take your seats and we have limited amount of time, so I propose to begin our session. And Vladimir Mao will join us a bit later. It's my pleasure to welcome uh, all of you on behalf of the Association of Innovative uh, Regions, and I would like to welcome all of our colleagues and uh, have to say that the Academy of uh, National Economy, RANEPA, is uh, among our strategic partners of our association. And I would like to give you several numbers about the Association of uh, Innovative Regions. Uh, we are about 20% of scientific research uh, done in Russia. We represent one quarter of all expenses for uh, technological innovation. We're providing one fifth of all the innovative uh, products in the country. And um, lately, I have to say that we are open to establishing new contacts uh, on national and international level. I'm speaking about Luxembourg, our friends, uh, Germany. And as I've already mentioned, the RANEPA is among our strategic partners, and it's headed by Vladimir Alexandrovich Mao. Uh, he is uh, taking his seat right now, and we will give him the floor about what will be happening today. He will share with us. Dear Rustam Nurgalevich and dear colleagues, I would like to welcome uh, all of the governors and representatives of the Russian regions uh, here in the walls of our academy. And uh, I think that today uh, we will launch a very important process. It's, uh, uh, it's a ranking of business ratings in the regions uh, jointly with the association with uh, Ruslan Norgalevich and uh, along with the Interfax News Agency. I have to say that this is the new uh, rating. It has not been uh, formed uh, and finished yet, but we still were hoping that uh, that uh, the way things are happening right now, it will uh, end up being one of the key ratings uh, in uh, in our framework uh, as, uh, as far as we understand uh, innovative approach and uh, innovative development in the Russian regions. Once again, thank you, dear colleagues. I would like to pour um, the uh, chase. Uh, Igor Shuvalov um, uh, could not uh, join us. He is actually now uh, now has a meeting with uh, with uh, with representatives of the, of the business, uh, small, medium sized uh, companies, and uh, we will uh, we will deliver him uh, the results of this discussion. Uh, Vladimir is leaving us right now. Uh, your your applause, please, and thank you very much. And. Uh, Dear colleagues, this uh, rating is about uh, innovative companies, investors, entrepreneurs, and those who develop uh, technologies. The idea of the rating is to show you where it would be profitable to do innovative business and reflect a real situation in the regions. It's about uh, uh, ranking the Russian regions by certain components and by certain results and outcomes of uh, innovative activities. It will enable us to identify leading regions to show their uh, strong and weak sides. And this rating is um, is to become the working uh, tool and instrument uh, to spread uh, best regional practices across the whole country. And once again, I would like to say that uh, it is not so important where you are in this rating, although this is important as it is, but it's more important to understand why you are where you are in the ratings. What are the blind spots? What are the bottlenecks? And what you have to do to improve your standing? So this is among the goals that we've set uh, before us. And uh, generally speaking, we have um, uh, a lot of different ratings, but this rating is um, is the one. Uh, it has to be really working uh, so that we, as heads of uh, the Russian regions, would be able to see uh, who we are, what we have to do to improve uh, our situation in your respective regions. Much work has been done, and I would like to say that um, I'm not uh, going to delve into detail about how this rating was being built. And I would like to give the floor right now to Ivan uh, 
uh, Bortnik uh, sitting next uh, to me. He is the person who was beginning this work, and uh, the main presenter will be uh, Pavel Anatolievich Kadochnikov. He will be speaking later. And then we will open the floor for the discussion. Dear colleagues, uh, thank you. Uh, for such a uh, very detailed introduction and uh, to to a certain extent information has been given about what uh, is the difference of these new ratings and what this rating is all about uh, as it is proposed by the uh, Russian Academy of the national economy and uh, since you are representing the uh, the regions and our qualification committee and I'm referring to Artyom Alexeyevich uh, from Republic of Tatarstan as the chair of this committee. We have been doing and we will be uh, building this uh, rating by the Association of Innovative Regions of uh, Russia. So um, this rating does not cancel any other ratings. And I still believe that uh, we are witnessing quite an important event today when uh, one of the leading economic institutions of Russia, RANEPA, and I, I even uh, I like more the English version uh, of uh, its Academy of National Economy, RANEPA, and indeed this uh, one of the leading leading economic schools um, uh, under the auspice of the Russian president. Its motion to um, to build uh, this uh, new rating, and we are very pleased uh, to say that this um, uh, this rating is proposed by the. Um, Academy of the National Economy, and it's oriented to the innovative business, and I think it only makes sense, and um, we're very happy that the Academy is uh, is uh, choosing uh, one of the partners uh, to supervise this rating. Uh, this is the Association of uh, Innovative Regions, and uh, we will be serving sort of like a guinea pigs uh, to uh, issue the first uh, edition of this rating. And uh, Rustan, uh, Rustan has already mentioned about that, uh, and Vladimir as well. We will be working with uh, our partners and uh, with uh, uh, Ra Expert. Uh, Expert is one of the rating agencies. We'll be working with uh, Interfax News Agency. Uh, and uh, among others, we will be cooperating with the Agency for Strategic Innovations because they are doing their own rating of uh, innovation appeal. And I guess Pavel will be uh, speaking mostly about that. But again, the main idea of, uh, of this rating is to uh, answer questions uh, of innovative businesses. Where should I locate my manufacturing facility? Or where should I go what, to what region of Russia to be more profitable? And uh, where I can get the best conditions uh, for building and uh, developing my business and where I see the good sales market for my company and for my entity as it is confirmed by economic indicators. And I believe that um, cooperating with um, this investment rating or rating of investment appeal, it will be very good cooperation. I mean, the one which is uh, promoted by the Agency of uh, Strategic Innovations and Initiatives. Uh, but it's also very important for investors. And like Rustam very rightfully pointed out, we have to be able to see, I mean, by saying us, I mean the heads of the regions, why um, if, uh, if we do, um, if, if, if uh, we get these very objective evaluations of different aspects of uh, economic situation related to attracting uh, investments and high tech and innovative businesses, what are your weak sides, your bottlenecks, what are the strong sides, what you have to uh, improve and tune up in the future. And uh, Rustam uh, and Vladimir both pointed out and mentioned that this rating is being formed currently. It's, uh, it's uh, in the formation and one of the goals of this presentation is to be able to hear uh, your opinion, opinion of the press, of the media and that of businesses about uh, do you think the whole mentality is correct behind this rating? Have we chosen the right uh, framework and structure of this rating? Uh, its section, subsection, do you think uh, they uh, objectively uh, reflect expectations uh, by the Russian regions that this rating will be giving answers to the questions that you are asking yourselves? Where should I invest? Why should I invest or not invest? What region of Russia would be most more profitable for me to come over? And uh, 
not so that investors would be able to make their qualified uh, decision. So at this point, I would like to say that uh, that uh, I just uh, position this rating um, against um, other ratings. Once again, I would like to um, express my appreciation to the Academy of the National Economy, RANEPA, for uh, proposing this new rating and for inviting the Association of Innovative Regions of Russia to be um, its partner. Uh, thank you, Pavel. Uh, please, uh, I guess you'll be speaking in, in greater detail. Thank you for the work that has been done and for your approaches, because uh, there are many ratings out there, we know, and each of them uh, has objective and subjective uh, component to it. But as I was looking at this new rating, you've tried to You've tried to um, take into account all these aspects. Rustam, thank you very much. I would like to thank the Association of Innovative Region and uh, to Rustam Nurkaliyev, to uh, the Republic of Tatarstan, to the organizing committee, um, because they've been a great help to us uh, for this preliminary work that has been carried out. In the beginning, I would like to say I would like to make a statement. Uh, it will be good for the heads of the regions, not so good for the journalists. We are collecting uh, your advice, and we've planned this discussion. Uh, it will be a so, sort of half-cooked half uh, discussion. Uh, we do not want to give you any specific numbers, but we would like to um, uh, discuss the approaches and preliminary findings and outcomes of how do we see uh, development of Russian regions as far as innovative component is concerned. Next slide, please. As it was mentioned, uh, one of the goals is to identify the innovative and high-tech potential uh, for building our respective businesses in Russia. We're closely following uh, the work which has been done by RANEPA and what has been done in association itself and as well as in other business like doing business ratings. But for us, um, taking in view these uh, main goals, we are lacking several components in the existing ratings. Most of them are based on comparing regions and they do not give you the full picture. They do not give you the chance to do your homework and to fix all the bugs. And uh, secondly, uh, uncomparable parameters are built into one solid scale. We still would like uh, to compare the comparable. And a lot of um, surveys and polls are being used as methodology, and we would like to be more closely to objective statistical data. And in this regard, the approach that we are using and proposing is special emphasis on developing business, um, uh, innovative business in the regions, and uh, separate evaluation of results, and then um, an attempt uh, to compare regions by these two main indicators. Next slide, please. These two indicators we are proposing to evaluate in the following way. As for um, conditions uh, for development, it's the uh, availability of financing, the state support, the um, availability of the highly skilled and trained um, uh, staff, the availability of the markets, uh, um, availability of infrastructures, and potential for building high-tech clusters. Uh, this is the condition of uh, developing and building innovative businesses. I think there will be like two or three indicators for each of those uh, blocks and lines so that we could aggregate the first uh, the first uh, big item, namely conditions. As for results, uh, we are thinking about the formation of the business, the uh, creating new jobs, uh, using new technologies and knowledge commercialization, and uh, labor output and productivity. Um, this would be like the main economic goals which which um, uh, the government has to pursue. We've made very first attempts uh, to measure uh, what will happen if we begin to compare regions uh, by by these indicators? As uh, for the regions uh, which are part of the Association of Innovative Regions, next slide, you can see the cloud is very dense. Uh, we decided not to uh, separate them, and later you'll be able to see the tables where we group them. But pre preliminary findings uh, is that uh, we have some very um, uh, bothersome uh, tendencies. Um, it's about creating new knowledge and. Uh, and technologies. The left bottom corner, you can see that uh, where the regions are most uh, different from one another. As for the cluster development potential, uh, there is certain movement and deltas between the regions. When we check the Russian map of what's the overall picture, next slide, please. Uh, 
it's an overall picture about the regions of Russia. As for the conditions for doing business, uh, we've uh, come to conclusion that uh, the as, as far as support and conditions for opening the high-tech business, there it's very highly concentrated in 69 regions. The support is below the Russian average level in 12 regions of Russia. This type of support is basically non-existent. I mean, the high-tech companies cannot utilize this support. You can see that uh, it's uh, the, we see the high concentration in a couple dozens of Russian regions. I guess it's normal because we cannot have the perfect and outstanding technical schools in all the regions of Russia. But on the other hand, we are discriminating those uh, regions which do not have them. The science is concentrated in about 10-15 uh, regions. Availability of infrastructure and markets uh, again. I can see very high concentration and uh, among the leading regions, those which are represented by the association. It's uh, Kursk, uh, Tatarstan, and Kaluga, and I can see the trend, upper trend for clusterization. If you look at the number of companies and number of jobs they're creating, you can say um, that those indicators which uh, which are indicative of building clusters, they're going up, and uh, Ulyanov, Barshkortostan, Republic of Tatarstan are among the leaders. Next slide, please. As for results, the situation is a bit different. Uh, we have some good results. We have results which makes us wonder and think about it. For example, uh, as far as uh, building high-tech businesses in eight regions of Russia, we do not have any results. In 68 regions, this indicator is below the national average. Speaking about the producing high-tech products, in nine products, uh, there is nothing. Uh, as of uh, 2014, in 40 regions of Russia, we've seen the slump compared to 2013. As uh, for the expert, we can see the growth in 2014 compared against uh, 2013 in 20 regions, uh, with Tomsk being the leading one. Uh, we can see Tatarstan uh, building the most uh, high-tech jobs. As for international patents, in 2014, in, in 20, there was nothing. And in 33 regions, we can see the decrease in their numbers. These are very alarming tendencies and trends. So we can see that uh, certain regions are grouping together uh, because these are divergent uh, groups. They, are, they, are, they witness divergent trends. The same is about intensity of using or issuing patents. In 12 regions, it's a zero level. In 40 regions, it's decreasing. If we'll try to juxtapose or overlap these two results, then the re next slide, please. I'm speaking about the results of uh, innovative activity in businesses. We can see uh, several trends which basically as we believe, uh, do reflect what is happening in Russia today. First of all, we have the, the capital regions, uh, Moscow, St. Petersburg, which stand out because they have more resources, uh, Moscow, St. Petersburg, and the Moscow region. And the um, uh, Nizhny Novgorod region is uh, getting close to these two. And as we as we build um, conditions and prerequisites uh, for high tech companies we can see the better results uh, in those regions where the conditions have been created the results are better but if uh, we um, if we'll try to advise the regions, you guys have to develop the the conditions, build the conditions, you'll have a high-tech businesses. Still, they will not be able to catch up with the leading regions like you see on the top of the chart. Mainly, these are the regions uh, which are part of the Association of Innovative Regions. So this is the picture for these uh, uh, regions. And if we'll try to cate categorize the regions, uh, strong, weak, uh, next slide, please. This is what we have. I would appreciate any uh, any advice, any comments of what trends have to be taken into account when building this rating. Rating will be issued by the springtime of the current year. And uh, we're willing to take in your recommendations. We have the certain set of indicators. We do not want to impose it on you, just would like to hear it from you. So we want to collect your uh, recommendations and proposals, and then uh, we will finalize the rating. Thank you. Uh, dear colleagues, one thing to mention, when we will uh, start speaking um, indicators like Pavel mentioned today we will have this session of the qualification committee and uh, as we 
get down to details, you know, the devil is in details. We will be at our, the session of our qualification committee. It will be in the audience, uh, 201, 204, around 3.30 uh, p.m., uh, depending on when the plenary session will be over. And we'll be discussing those details. Sergey, please. Thank you, uh, dear Rustam Nurkalievich, Ivan Mikhailovich. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to speak. We have studied um, the ratings. Um, rating is a good thing as it is, but uh, speaking of Russia, uh, we, we, we measure number of ratings in double digit. And uh, I guess uh, I guess it's one of the tools to to track the performance of uh, governors. Uh, first thing, we have to make uh, a decision who needs uh, each new rating. And the question number two is how a particular rating can be helpful to those who might need it. In the very beginning, we we've been saying oh, who needs this new rating. Uh, who are the recipients of this new rating? We consider that these are the federal ministries, investors, and the uh, uh, companies with uh, state ownership, but they all pursue different goals. And if users of these ratings uh, will ask themselves and how will this rating will affect the implementation of the federal strategies or even disbursement of uh, state funds, why do we have this rating? To evalu evaluate someone or some entity I think it uh, is not the main goal, but if we are saying that, uh, let's say, a minister will take a look uh, at the rating, I think it, it's wrong because a rating, we have to have at least one uh, rating which will give a specific tangible results uh, for practical activities, and if we send it to a ministry, a ministry should be able to identify what's the blind spot or a weak spot, and if uh, among the users of the ratings will be the major companies, uh, then I guess they should not even be the part of the committee. The goals of the big company uh, or corporation are different from that of the ministry. So, in some somewhere we're make, we're you know having this blind spot in this rating. So, whenever we evaluate in territories, we have to uh, we have to take into consideration these ideas because uh, for some companies they need more access to raw materials and inputs. For others, uh, they are looking for qualified personnel. Uh, and the third group of companies may be looking for something else. And if we see that the recipient of the rating will be investors, it will be yet a different picture because uh, they are trying to cut their costs uh, whenever launching any project. Is so so um, here we're speaking about the instruments of the industrial policies, and the, which would mean industrial parks and special economic zones. So in the rating, we have to we have to address the efficiency of, of their usage. But so far, based on the data that we have received conceptually, the rating is lopsided and uh, and it's about the mid-sized uh, technological business and companies. In our Tomsk region, we, we've we motioned this proposal in 2013, but this rating is more about the offer proposal, so we have to take a look into this issue. Mm, the question or concern number two, what kind of processes this rating will launch, what it will stimulate, why we need it? We had a rating about investment um, climate in our region. The goal of this rating is stimulate the exchange of best practices to attract investments. And uh, we've, uh, we've uh, launched the regional uh, annual uh, programs. But um, the, uh, the new rating should stimulate the policy of uh, technological overhaul. Uh, it is not about expert evaluation. You know, the good thing about it that other ratings, they're on the expert level, which means they are subjective. There is some subjective component to, him, uh, to them. And in this uh, new rating, I think there is more objective uh, share or component to it. And yet another question, what lines or areas of concerns we have to, we have to address? In this rating, we can see uh, that there is a proposal to use the high-tech processes, and, but we believe that still uh, we all uh, territories have to be treated equally, and despite of the particular nature and specificity of their uh, economies. For example, of the, speaking of the Tomsk uh, region, there there is a lack of uh, IT information technologies, and uh, for us, you know, it's 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 good that uh, your 
you're testing it uh, on a spot for Tomsk, it's one of the most important areas of development, which is not um, taken into consideration in the rating. The food industry has not been addressed. Uh, we are part of the cluster of renewables and um, uh, and um, it's it's a very high potential technology. The forestry is not has not been addressed. Uh, with our Chinese partners, we we have launched um, one of the major plants uh, in Russia last week, and uh, it's one of the major components of our economy. And yet, in the ratings, I do not see uh, extraction of minerals and all the high tech technologies. Uh, they are being used. Um, in oil and gas uh, sites, and uh, if we include it in the ratings, all the scientific groups and bodies in Tomsk, they're all serving oil and gas industry or the forestry industry, and I believe that um, this issue has to be um, has to be um, concerned and addressed, and we have to look at the potential of the cluster development, something to, that we've been uh, promoting and developing as a part of uh, of the association. And I believe that generally speaking, the goal is clear. Uh, you've, you said that uh, the rating will be issued in the springtime. I think we have to we have to uh, even maybe postpone this deadline not to issue this rating for the sake of rating, but to really work on it. Thank you. The idea is, yes, there are many ratings uh, that have been issued. We need a workable and working rating. We need it to be objective. Not somebody came up with this rating, no, but we take all the existing ratings, we take uh, our vision, and we uh, build this new rating, which would be very important for you and for me. And, uh, our colleague has mentioned uh, some regions, like 40 and 50 regions, so which don't have anything going on in them. Or let's say other uh, regions uh, where the new things are being launched or promoted uh, every day, there should be some objective uh, evaluation, uh, not initiated by some some group of interest uh, with vested interests. <coughs> and uh, I think the, we have to have uh, the general discussion, and uh, major corporations and uh, and the government they have to be uh, able to use this material. And if we'll see that. Um, over 50% of our country are uh, doing nothing uh, as far as investments uh, into high-tech industries. It's also a very, you know, a signal for us. Something has to be done. We do accept your command. I would like to give the floor to you, Igor. Uh, thank you, uh, dear colleagues. Unfortunately. Um, I didn't have time to uh, study these materials of this rating, and uh, this morning I was mobilized to be a part of this discussion and this uh, group, And uh, but uh, I'll be able to make up my mind and uh, make my decision on uh, what we're discussing today. On one hand, I'm uh, very ironic about any ratings, and probable like you do, but at the same time I believe that uh, there is more there is more uh, good uh, coming out of ratings uh, than damage uh, from using the ratings. So we have to uh, analyze a certain criteria. We have to attempt uh, to identify uh, and to make a special emphasis on those ratings which uh, which propel us to do something. It's not so much about evaluating somebody or something, you know, and to um, prop up my ego, I'm a part of this group. But innovation policies is so significant for uh, tackling all the tasks of developing our country that we have to do. We have to focus not only on uh, just a neutral uh, mode, being being just evaluating the regions, but we have to stimulate, we have to understand what are the factors which give a certain advantage to particular regions while other regions um, are lagging behind. And uh, this is why uh, I'm all for it, I'm, I'm willing to uh, support this initiative, and uh, when I'll go back, we will prepare our own uh, analytical <coughs> materials and uh, to those uh, who are working uh, on developing this rating. You've been talking about innovative component in innovation, so I would like to draw the attention of my colleagues and the heads 
uh, of the Association of Innovative Regions of Russia. I'm deeply convinced that today um, we need to uh, pay as much attention as we can to uh, growing and developing science and education. Uh, because for quite a long time we've been in the paradigm, we don't have any implementations, uh, no conditions, we don't have any subsidies. Uh, yet in many regions, I think these conditions have already been established. Uh, we have a lot of uh, infrastructure uh, properties that uh, have been connected to electricity and everything. Uh, and uh, we offer uh, very nice conditions uh, for lease. Uh, there's uh, all necessary uh, connectivity in place, uh, zero tax rates uh, for the uh, potential residents, but uh, we have very few takers. Uh, in our region, uh, we have a uh, research center and uh, we have uh, seen uh, some patents being issued. Uh, there are uh, some uh, science and technology intensive uh, companies uh, in space industry and other uh, sectors as well. But uh, although I've been uh, in this business for uh, quite some time, I see that uh, the number of uh, new uh, research uh, results uh, is uh, going down. Um, we have um, talked to the uh, federal authorities about uh, possible ways uh, of uh, um, making changes uh, to these uh, companies and uh, research organizations, but it seems that uh, it's not working out very well. Um, seems like we are uh, losing it and um, the education system is suffering from that. We are uh, trying to uh, support uh, our technology universities. We are uh, building uh, a core university uh, in the region. Uh, the uh, next thing we should do is uh, uh, putting focus uh, on the education system. Today uh, we are uh, thinking back about the uh, Soviet past uh, when we uh, did uh, quite a bit in terms of development of uh, science and education. Uh, we uh, are also going to look at uh, the uh, capabilities of the local budgets in Tatarstan in Krasnodar uh, region. Uh, several uh, parts of the country are very willing uh, to invest uh, in uh, high tech. I don't think, though, that we uh, fare well uh, in uh, the uh, way relations are uh, maintained between a high tech business and uh, the uh, system of high learning. Okay, that is a fresh look at the situation. Uh, you're right, it's uh, quite challenging. Uh, there is a lot of paper uh, going around, and uh, oftentimes uh, good ideas do not materialize. Uh, there is another problem. Uh, we need uh, serious federal support. Uh, we need uh, pilot projects. Without that, uh, we cannot go far. There are many startup companies that uh, cannot make it because they are not getting sufficient support. Nobody is going to uh, deploy uh, an innovative uh, technology unless it's proven. Uh, we have to uh, talk to our colleagues from the federal government and uh, point uh, to the bottlenecks uh, that we see. Uh, we have universities, we have R&D uh, organizations, but uh, the results of their work are not uh, used uh, broadly. Uh, there's uh, a lot of ideas, but uh, there's very little implementation. 
we uh, see that uh, the outcomes are very modest. Uh, we need to give uh, further support uh, to the R&D people and to those uh, who try to bring those ideas to the market. Uh, we have a colleague. Uh, would you please introduce yourself? Uh, you can actually uh, take this seat. Uh, good morning. I'm uh, Pavel Svistanov, uh, Deputy Head of the Department uh, for Innovations uh, and Development in the Ministry for Economic Development. Uh, a few words about the uh, new rating. The more ratings we have, the better. Several people said that. but. Uh, there's another side to this. Uh, it's not clear uh, which rating uh, we should uh, focus on and look up at. Uh, we have to uh, have something reliable uh, to uh, use this information uh, to uh, put together our uh, economic support programs. Uh, to make them effective. There are several key issues that we have to address. One, uh, what uh, is it uh, focused on? I mean, this rating. There's uh, two categories. Uh, one uh, is for uh, companies uh, so that they can uh, see uh, which way to uh, go to and uh, original component. Uh, we uh, in the ministry and uh, people in the industry uh, need to know uh, where they can get tax benefits, uh, where they can get government support, and how long this support is going to be available. This is one of the things that uh, is key to them. And uh, this is something that I have failed to see so far. If this is a rating uh, that is based uh, on uh, objective information, and not uh, expert analysis, then uh, we have to know more about the way assessments will be done. I'm not clear about that. Uh, what are you going to do about high-tech products? Uh, how are you going to uh, get information about uh, IT uh, industry? There are several other industries uh, that are quite high-tech, and uh, I uh, have no idea how you're going to collect information on all those things. Uh, I'm concerned uh, with uh, the statement that this rating will become available in spring. Uh, there's uh, an assessment of the availability of uh, government support uh, in different projects. I have no idea how you can uh, do an assessment of regions uh, in uh, 45 days or so. Uh, there's uh, so much interaction between different regions. I don't, just don't see how you can uh, make a good assessment so quickly. If this is a rating that uh, people uh, should rely on, then it uh, should be a better, more thorough job. I also wonder about something else. Uh, what are you going to do about uh, experts? There are some out there, and um, one important uh, issue is uh, mobility, people's willingness uh, to uh, move to different parts of the country. Uh, that is a very important factor. Uh, not everybody is willing uh, to uh, move to other parts of the country, and that uh, has a serious impact uh, on the economy. Uh, there are several other things. Uh, that uh, raise questions. I don't think these uh, are real eye-openers. Uh, putting together a good rating uh, system is uh, uh, a, a serious job. Uh, we are uh, looking at different rating systems. Uh, That is important uh, for uh, our work. If uh, this rating works, then we will be uh, very much willing to uh, support and help you uh, in your initiative. Well, it, it's not about help and support. This is something uh, that uh, the Minister of Economic Development uh, should uh, benefit from. Uh, there are many different rating systems out there, 
And um, in uh, this initiative, well, uh, let me say this. When we uh, look at it, we understand that uh, it has to be objective. It has uh, to uh, be uh, valuable uh, for the government, for the Ministry of Economic Development, uh, for the federal government. Uh, we are going to use uh, other people's experience, uh, things that have been uh, developed uh, by others, and we are uh, very much hoping that uh, uh, you will give us a helping hand. Uh, we uh, would really need your support. Uh, I've uh, been looking at different rating systems since 1997. Hmm. Dmitry, tell us about uh, the situation in uh, Bashkortostan. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I must say that ratings are a good thing. Uh, some of them uh, look pretty, some of them uh, don't, but uh, ratings are based on knowledge. And um, we uh, can uh, get uh, quite a bit of knowledge uh, by looking at uh, ratings. We have uh, different economies in different regions, and uh, we uh, want uh, to achieve different goals. So uh, there are quite a few things that are not comparable. Uh, but uh, uh, then again, uh, there are uh, many benefits uh, that we could get uh, from a good rating system. We could uh, learn something that is uh, relevant to us. Uh, we may get a better idea about uh, infrastructure uh, in different parts of the country. Uh, we may have a better idea of the uh, system of higher learning uh, in different universities. Uh, the uh, Ministry of Education may have its uh, plans for uh, development uh, of universities. Uh, and uh, the most important thing uh, probably is this. Uh, when uh, we are short of money, we have to uh, look at uh, other regions' uh, strengths. Adarstan has um, a strong oil and gas industry. Uh, you have a lot of uh, science centers. Uh, we should not reinvent the wheel. Uh, we should uh, use uh, your science universities, your R&D centers. Uh, we have invested uh, billions of uh, rubles in um, refinery business. Uh, this all uh, should uh, be uh, very useful uh, for uh, the entire country. Uh, we are trying uh, to uh, get uh, greater opportunities for future development, if we are going to see any. Uh, we should use uh, each other's resources. Uh, we have uh, uh, recently uh, signed uh, an agreement with the University of Kazan. Uh, it uh, opens up new opportunities uh, for us uh, to uh, use the university's uh, potential uh, there's uh, plenty of opportunities out there, and uh, this rating system should be helpful in this. Thank you. Uh, colleagues from the regions, uh, do you have any inputs? The floor is open. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Rustam. Uh, this is an interesting uh, rating system. Um, we would really like to uh, know more about the methodology you're using. There's uh, uh, a lot of questions about uh, the uh, numbers that you show. The uh, rating is based on statistical data. Um, how can we evaluate uh, clusterization potential based on that? Uh, I'm not uh, very clear about that. Uh, uh, my understanding is that we're going to have a discussion of that uh, matter in the afternoon. Uh, we also have to uh, have uh, clear definitions. Uh, what is uh, innovative? Uh, what is high tech? High tech is not always innovative. Uh, these things uh, may uh, run in parallel. Uh, uh, one uh, can uh, use uh, 
high technologies uh, that have been uh, developed uh, elsewhere. Uh, and it uh, does not necessarily uh, have to do uh, with uh, developing new technologies. Uh, region's ability uh, to uh, develop new technologies uh, is an entirely different story. Uh, we have to uh, get more clarity on that. Uh, if we are looking at both things, uh, that's one thing. Uh, if uh, we just want to focus on innovations, uh, then uh, we have to know it. But uh, anyway, uh, like Dmitry said, uh, any alternative uh, view on various indicators um, is useful. It uh, gives us food for thought. It uh, gives us a better idea of what our uh, strengths and weaknesses are. It also gives us a better understanding of our neighbors' potentials. So we are uh, willing uh, to uh, support and participate uh, in this project. Thank you. Uh, let me say this, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, up till now, uh, we did not uh, make any contribution uh, to the formation of ratings. Uh, today, we have uh, invited the uh, Academy of National Economy, and uh, we are uh, studying these things together. We uh, work with the ministry. And uh, whatever the outcome of our uh, work is, uh, it has to be objective. If the rating is not uh, what uh, we want it to be, then uh, it's our fault. Uh, we uh, want to do a better job uh, in evaluation of regions. We have to uh, have a good organization. We have to have uh, uh, good, solid rules. Uh, they should uh, work properly. And uh, it's essential that uh, we uh, make our contribution uh, to uh, the development of this rating. Uh, this is the first effort of this kind. Uh, we are uh, trying to uh, develop a new product uh, that would be uh, more objective than others. Uh, we cannot uh, hope uh, to create something perfect, but uh, like uh, Sergei Anatolievich said, uh, we uh, want to make it useful. I have an, int an interesting idea. Maybe we should uh, invite uh, the ministry uh, to uh, come on board, and uh, we should also rate them. Uh, I'm tired of the situation when they rate us all the time. Uh, you are going to end up losing some uh, of the federal uh, programs. Uh, let's not uh, argue uh, with the ministry. Let's uh, try to get their support. Uh, I'm Anatoly Sabalev, a deputy governor of Novosibirsk region. Uh, this event is a presentation uh, of the uh, new rating, and I have questions about methodology, but that's not uh, what I uh, want to say right now. Uh, later in the afternoon, we are uh, going to have a, a special session at which uh, experts will talk about it. It's been uh, said uh, that uh, it's very difficult to uh, collect statistics about <clears throat> the IT industry. Uh, how can one apply a statistical analysis uh, to this industry? Uh, this is uh, a, a serious uh, challenge, <clears throat> but the task is important. Uh, let me say this. Uh, we have uh, to identify uh, tasks and goals uh, for this rating system. It should reflect the new challenges uh, that the uh, Russian economy is facing. It becomes very obvious when you look at the development of regions. Uh, there are uh, some regions that act as donors uh, through the development uh, of uh, 
high technologies and related industries. There's a lot of high tech business uh, developed around um, natural resources, production, um, regions that uh, do not produce uh, natural resources uh, also have a potential. Uh, they have uh, strong uh, industry like we do in Novosibirsk region. Uh, we have uh, good universities and uh, that uh, should be a good contribution uh, to the uh, innovative type of uh, development. Uh, last year, we have uh, put together a new uh, program uh, for development of industry uh, in the region, and uh, we would like to use uh, every tool available uh, to make uh, this uh, program better. Uh, this is all about the development of the uh, regional economy uh, through development of high-tech business. This is essential for uh, Novosibirsk area. If this rating uh, is launched. We want it to be useful uh, for the regions. It should be a, a good development tool uh, uh, for uh, all of Russia. It should help us uh, transform uh, national economy. This would be uh, a great thing if it works this way. Uh, we are uh, very supportive of this initiative and uh, we uh, want to make our contribution. We have already put together some proposals. Uh, I agree. Uh, the uh, task is quite challenging, and uh, uh, this is not something we can do quickly. But there's uh, nobody else who can cope with this uh, challenge better uh, than we uh, can do it. Um, so uh, let's uh, try and do a good job of this. Uh, I have uh, one romantic proposal. Uh, there's an overview of four uh, different rating systems uh, which uh, compete uh, in a number of ways. Uh, maybe we can uh, talk to each other. Uh, maybe we can uh, speak to the Higher School of Economics and uh, uh, the uh, other uh, organizations that uh, produce uh, their ratings. Maybe we could uh, come up with uh, one single rating which would uh, get uh, more uh, trust from the people. We have to look at uh, things like the development uh, of um, business environment. Uh, this is essential for uh, the uh, development uh, of regional economy. And uh, my uh, second proposal has to do with uh, infrastructure. I think uh, we should uh, focus more uh, on the uh, potential of the uh, available existing infrastructure. There are uh, various uh, economic zones and industry parks and uh, uh, technology parks of different types. Um, those things we are quite familiar with. Uh, now uh, we are introducing uh, the cluster model. Anyone else? I'm uh, Tatiana uh, Semerova, professor at RENEPA. I'm also a deputy um, editor of uh, the uh, public service magazine. In the magazine, uh, we have uh, one uh, section on the uh, regional development, and uh, uh, we uh, welcome uh, all people from the regions uh, to talk to us. Uh, we believe that uh, openness uh, is the most important thing. Uh, we uh, want to use uh, our magazine uh, as um, a, a vehicle. Uh, which uh, regions can use uh, to uh, promote uh, their achievements. Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, good morning. Uh, very quickly, I'm Mikhail Vinogradov, uh, St. Petersburg Fund uh, on Economic Policy. Uh, I uh, support uh, what uh, Sergei Shvashkin said. 
uh, we uh, want uh, this uh, rating to be uh, clear and uh, transparent. Uh, uh, we have uh, so many rating systems that uh, unless this one uh, is uh, relevant, uh, it's uh, not really going to fly. There are uh, some things uh, that uh, people really need to know. Uh, we uh, need to know uh, which uh, regions today are uh, most relevant, uh, which regions have a uh, passion and willingness uh, for development and innovation. And uh, we also want uh, innovations to be high on the agenda. Uh, this uh, is especially important today at the time of the recession. Uh, we have representatives of uh, many different regions, and you all have things uh, to brag about. Uh, we have to uh, highlight uh, the uh, achievements that we have. We have to uh, promote uh, those achievements. Uh, we um, have to uh, inform others about uh, your experience, uh, what uh, good things uh, that you have done. Therefore, um, I think we uh, should give more uh, thought uh, uh, to the uh, format of your uh, rating, uh, which should be uh, focused on the end result uh, of our efforts. I have one suggestion uh, based on our discussion, uh, the uh, key uh, source of data. Um, Classic ratings are uh, based uh, on uh, data which uh, rating developers uh, get uh, from the industry. Uh, we uh, should look at the areas where we are lacking information, and uh, uh, we should uh, develop something uh, uh, to uh, get better information from the regions. We also should look at the existing ratings and see uh, uh, which of them have um, uh, good uh, parts uh, that uh, are usable uh, for the new rating system. I think we have analyzed that. We have analyzed the existing ratings. Uh, at least that's uh, my idea. But uh, uh, what you said uh, is quite reasonable. Association uh, or the Agency uh, for uh, Strategic Initiatives uh, has said the same thing. Uh, they uh, also have uh, a rating system, and uh, they are using regional data. Uh, we are going to talk to those people. We are going to uh, collaborate with them. Uh, Vera, maybe uh, you can make a comment. Uh, I'm Vera Adaeva. Uh, I work for the Agency of Strategic Initiatives. Our uh, rating is not uh, focused on uh, innovations, um, and that is something that we would like to do. Uh, we also want to focus more uh, on uh, the potential for uh, interregional cooperation. This is an area that has not been covered, and uh, we uh, should uh, do more there. As of the uh, collaboration between different rating systems and uh, collective use of data, there's one constraint. Uh, you might remember uh, we had an agreement that uh, the uh, detailed uh, uh, indicators would only be provided to uh, regions and uh, to the federal uh, authorities. Uh, this has been the general agreement. So um, in the afternoon session, uh, we may decide that uh, such data uh, can be disclosed and uh, provided uh, to uh, other organizations, then uh, we wouldn't have a problem with that. Uh, we would be uh, willing to exchange um, data with other people. Uh, we uh, also uh, may uh, look at uh, different methodologies at um, different ways of um, uh, cooperation with uh, various organizations. Uh, businesses may be high-tech, but they uh, are not um, all innovative. Those are very different things. 
Uh, I'm sure we will find um, answers to those questions. As a representative of the association, I uh, am familiar uh, with uh, the situation. Uh, we are uh, going to look into all those things. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please stay in touch with the gentleman from the Ministry of Economic Development. Uh, we. Um, want uh, to uh, uh, collaborate with you. Uh, uh, this uh, gentleman here uh, works for the association. He is responsible uh, for uh, such a collaboration. And um, I would like for all regions uh, to uh, make their contributions and uh, join uh, the consultation uh, process. Uh, regions have not uh, done anything like this in the past. So uh, now uh, uh, we uh, have a great opportunity. Uh, we uh, can uh, coordinate our, our efforts, and uh, this is great. Uh, so let's uh, continue to work together. And uh, I want to say thank you to our uh, colleagues who uh, support us. Uh, also, thank you to uh, all our guests, to uh, all the participants, and uh, I hope we will make good progress. Thank you.